Okay, hey YouTube, today we are doing our UK fantasy draft. So what this is, is pretty much uh, UK Nationals, for those of you who don't know, is the biggest tournament in the UK. And uh, we are going to be doing a fantasy draft in where we pick players from the UK. And depending on how they do, we're going to accumulate a certain amount of points. Okay, so there are some rules which we have to abide by. So I'll hand over to Nathan, who's going to explain the rules for us. Hi guys, so um, the rules we've got in place are we're only going to pick players from the Masters division. Um, we can pick ourselves or anyone else in the group. Um, we're picking players who have competed this season and we think are going to be at Nationals. Um, we're going to award points based on championship points. So if someone gets 100 championship points, our team gets 100 championship points. And we're going to guarantee that down to top, 20, uh, top 32, no matter what the best finish limit is. Um, We've agreed an order beforehand, so it's going to start with me and go around this way. Then it's reverse snake order, so Jason um, then gets to pick first for the second round and it comes back this way. Um, we're also, we get five picks each. We're also going to have one scenario which is picked out of one of these bowls at the end. And if your scenario happens, then you get a bonus 50 points. Um, we're going to be playing for five pounds each. And the forfeit, <laughs> and the forfeit is within this bowl because we've got five different costumes in this bowl, and we're each going to pick one out of it. And the loser has to dress up as the costume which they picked out of the bowl. So Four regionals. Four yeah. regionals. Four regionals. Okay. So the next I'm season. The next season. Playing. So playing. I'm yes. Playing. I'm the guy. Or judge. <laughs> or judge yeah. So I'm going to go first. And we're doing this. Okay. So my costume is. If I lose the Nationals draft, I have to dress up as a Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay, so if I lose the Nationals draft, I have to dress up as Ronald. <laughs> yes, you get that one! <laughs> <laughs> Ronald McDonald. Ronald so that's McDonald. McDonald. <laughs> Samuel? I have got... What's that? <laughs> Backwards. Backwards. Oh, so you uh, dress backwards. Dress up backwards. So okay. So Sam used to put his trousers and t-shirt on facing the wrong way. What's left? <laughs> Everything. I can't remember what other ones we've got left. Yeah. Alright. Um, Alright. If I lose a draft... Okay, I'm going as Where's Wally. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see it on the camera, but that does say Where's Wally. Oh, excellent. I forgot about <laughs> that. Swim, swim. He's going in the swimwear. If I lose a fancy job, which I won't, of course, uh, I've got to wear a swimsuit. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just clarify that's goggles, swimming trunks, flippers, uh, flippers, snorkel. snorkel. Yeah, snorkel. Rubber duck. Yeah. <laughs> Rubber rounds. <laughs> yeah, we'll go through the details. <laughs> Alright, okay. Um, have we gone to the bonus? Points, yeah. We'll do that at the end. Yeah, we? we'll do that after. This, at the end, yeah. okay, all right. All right so, cool. should we go for our fantasy draft picks? All right, cool. So, I'm up first, and I'm going to pick who I think is the best player in the UK at the moment, and that's Ryan Morehouse. Big show fans. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's had a really good season of CP this year, and I, last year, and even the year before that, I think. Uh, he's consistently really strong, and I think he's a safe pick. Okay, so for my first pick, I'm going to go for Scott Simmons. Um, because I think he's been solid all year, and I think he's proven he can do it at a big tournament this year. With I think he finished third, fourth in the ECC. Yeah. So I think that's a solid pick. He'll obviously be going for top 22. Um, so I think that's a solid place to start for my team. Okay, fair enough. Um, I'm going to go with Luke Kirkham. Uh, he's had a really solid season. He's a consistent performer. I also feel, because he just missed out on top 22 last year, he's going to be quite motivated to try and do what well Nationals this year. I'm going to go with Alex Dow. Uh, again, a uh, very, very consistent player. He's very knowledgeable of the game. I don't know if he's going for top 22 this season, but I feel that he does generally turn up at the big events like Nationals um, and is also the people's champion from last year. So I think it's quite an obvious, <laughs> <The rock>. yeah, <laughs> an obvious pick. So uh, that's my pick. Uh, for my first pick, I'm going for someone who has particularly done well in the tournaments that he's been at this year, and that is Nathan McCleary. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, I got picked. <laughs> well done, Nathan. <laughs> All right. And you uh, get it's about oh, to you get another pick. Yeah, yeah. yeah, pick number two for me. So the first pick for round number two. It might seem like I'm doing this as a cliche, but I'm going to pick the up-and-comer, The Apprentice, 
Ben Schultz. Oh! <laughs> Risky. That's pressure now. I'm going to drop now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to drop out. I'm not going to bother going for the Nationals in the uh, Rules invite. <laughs> um, okay, for my pick, I've got two in mind. Um, who's the... I'm going to go with Shivram. I think he's guaranteed me a top eight, to be honest. He's a very consistent player. Puts a lot of time into the game, and I think he's going to guarantee me a consistent top eight finish. So that's my pick. All right, I'm going to go with a pretty similar player in my eyes. I'm going to go with Smal Cameron. Um, same reasons as Luke Kirkham. He just missed out on it last year. I think he's going to be really motivated to try and get top twenty two. Okay, I think my next pick therefore will be Joe Bernard. Um, who I think is at a really solid start to the season. I'm not sure I've seen him playing as much in the second half, but I'm sure he'll mm. turn up big at Nationals and do well at Nationals. Yeah. Um, for mine, I'm going to go with, in my opinion, the better McClue. <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately, I've already been picked. <laughs> so I'm going to have to take the um, second place with Sam. Um, I was about to say, you're probably the other part's not playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, going to have to drop the tournament. <laughs> but in all seriousness, Samuel's gone to five regionals and he's got a first, a second and a top four and he's um, on course for top 22 which means that um, I think he'll put the time in and he'll be motivated and he generally has a good nationals record so I see him as quite a safe pick so that's going to be my first one. Mm -hmm. Good choice. <laughs> <laughs> um, for my second Kind of forgotten people now. Yeah, <laughs> now I'm starting yeah. to forget people. Not being rude or anything, everyone else we have forgotten. But... No, okay, I think I know the next one. Um, <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go for Cole Blake. Um, he's someone who doesn't seem to win nationals, but um, famously, but he always gets top fours, top two, stuff like that. And in a fantasy draft, you want people who you think can get to that stage, so for me, he's a solid pick. Okay. Um, this is quite tough now. I, I think I'm probably going to go with someone who, again, someone who I think can go quite far and has a good record this year. I think I'm going to go for Adam Hawkins. Okay. Um, he obviously won a regional in the first half of the year, um, and he's obviously very knowledgeable about the game and a very good player, so I think that's a good yeah. pick. He always does well at Nationals. No, that's even better. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I can have a look at his pick? Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to go with Joseph Phillip. Uh, I think he's on around four to five hundred CP. Um, so again, like you might try and push top twenty-two and aim for a first or second. So he seems like a safe pick. I think I'm going to go with Jake Wolven. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> again, I'm kind of going with the consistent theme. So I'm kind of going with players who I think are going to guarantee me a, a top 8 or a good top 16 finish. And I think that there are a lot of players who accumulate points within the top 32. So that would be my pick. It's quite tough now. Mm. Yeah. Dave Davidson is still there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be incredibly unprofessional and ask to look at the list. Right, there you go. Now the other list as well. <laughs> the, the, secret list. the secret list. Now the secret list. Shall we? Yeah. No, I need no, to. No, 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 no. I don't want to see in the swimsuit. We want to see you in the swimsuit. Yeah. You want to arrange that any other day if you <laughs> want. <laughs> um, Camera's still rolling, man. <laughs> <sighs> this, is, this is getting tough now. Um... One eternity later. Now, this choice of mine is going into nationals. I'm looking at how he's performed over the course of the season. And for my third choice, I'm going to say Charles Barton. Oh, that's why I've gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Purely because of just how well he's been doing. And hopefully. Should be good. <laughs> and your fourth? And my fourth. <laughs> <laughs> Can you remember any more names? <laughs> You're not going, are you? Maybe. 
No, it's a risky pick. Risky Jamie, pick? Sir, Jamie well, Sirhan is. is a risky pick. <laughs> Even when he says he is, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's like round one loss. <laughs> oh, this is. Um, trying to think of some other people who I've met at the tournaments. Um, Shame can't come back to me. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty seconds of your fourth <coughs> pick. Oh, you may as well just do Jamie in that case. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to have to, aren't I? Yeah, I think so. I'm going to, I'm going to pick Jamie then. I'm definitely not going to nationals down. <laughs> <laughs> if this guy turns up, he should be pretty good. If he if turns up on the right day, he'll be extremely good. I know the right time. Oh. Don't push that too much. <laughs> he's, he's stuck in traffic and he'll get, but he will get there. So Jamie from okay. the board, He'll take the train and stuff, I'll get stuck in traffic. <laughs> <laughs> um, I did think of someone and I forgot who that was. Um, I've got someone in mind, I just don't know if there's anyone else I'd prefer to pick. I don't think. Okay. I'm going to go with Charlie Powell. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Again, a very knowledgeable player on the game. Um, I don't. I haven't been keeping track with tournaments as of late, so I don't know how he's been doing. But I know over the course of the last two seasons, he's been a consistent world invitee. Has got top thirty-two at one year. I can't remember what year that was. So I think it's a pretty solid choice. Fair enough. Uh, I'm going to go with Andrew Emerson. Uh, if I'm honest, I don't really know who this player is, but I know they're a good player. <laughs> uh, I studied the list beforehand. Yeah, I think... It's like I, I have know. a name of someone who I don't, haven't really met before, but I think we're a good player. But if I say the name wrong, I'll get the forfeit. So, uh, I think on around four or 500 CP. So a good player, obviously, and a safe pick, Myers. I want to check with you, but I can't. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to go for... Ooh, this is where it starts getting tricky. Um, how many picks have we got left? Two. Uh, yes. yeah. I think it's a player. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't if been you name a cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to name Snagglepuss and just hope Snagglepuss turns up. Um, so again, I, I don't think I've met this player, unfortunately, but I think Fraser Anderson, yeah. um, who I think Scott is inviting has done quite well this year. Um, so, apologies to Fraser if he sees this, I'd like to meet you. Hi. <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> Miss you. <laughs> right, so for my last two picks, um, I've got two players who I think are both solid picks, and um, I was hoping no one else would pick them, and they haven't. So the first one um, is famous for Hearthstone and Resistance. Uh, you'll definitely know who he is, he's Oliver Barnett. Okay, I um, that movie. So... He's always, yeah, he's been consistent in the UK for several years now. Um, and I think at this stage of the draft, for sure, he's a really good solid pick. I'm pleased to have gotten him. The other pick I'm going to go for is Reese Williams. Um, yeah. okay. I've got to know him pretty well, like, in the last year or two. And again, similar to Oliver Barnett, I feel like a very good chance of getting at least the top 32. And um, I think to avoid losing this forfeit, that's what you need is at least four or five players within that. And I'm confident he'll do that for me. Okay, I think for my last pick, I'm going to go for someone who I think's just got his world's invite. I think I'm going to go for Nicholas Pierce, um, who's obviously a very knowledgeable player of the game, veteran, and um, who, again, someone who I think will do well. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with Tinder Chris. <laughs> <laughs> uh, again, I think he's a good player to have at this stage. Um, I think he's just shy of his invite at the moment. So he's got it to play for. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, good pick. Okay, um, I am going to go with Rick Cherry. That's I, a good pick. Yeah. Um, if I'm honest, I don't know the guy. Um, He's a good player. I don't know what he looks like, but <laughs> I know that every time I go to a tournament or every time I see the tournament results online, his name is up there. <laughs> so That's good enough for you. That's good enough for me. <laughs> so I'm going to go with Rick Cherry. And for my final pick, I don't have time to think. Uh, I'm going to choose, um, I'm going to say his name right, 
Nilo. Nilo. Nilo, Nilo, Nilo sorry. That's good for you. Um, yeah. Yeah. Nilo's good pick. He's just just underneath the um, the invite at the moment, but apparently he's got league challenges. Hopefully, he should be able to get his invite off that. But I know that he'll push like, nationals. Cool. Okay. You want me to I do the you, you, you bonus, yeah. we got the bonus questions. Okay, so we have <laughs> scenarios. Okay, so we have uh, bonus scenarios, okay? So if one of your scenarios happen, and we are picking the scenarios at complete random, if one of your scenarios happen, you do get a plus fifty points. Plus, yeah. 50, yeah. plus fifty points, okay? <coughs> so these are very random but possible possible occurrences yeah. <laughs> that could happen at this year's nationals. And there are how many scenarios are uh, there? We got eight. In here, and we put one each, so okay, perfect. Yeah, oh. it's not like you can see this on the <laughs> So, I have got right, okay. I'm hoping they'll come through with me, but I've got Jake Wolven <laughs> <laughs> to get a game loss for playing double supporter. Oh. <laughs> Jake, if you're watching, you need to do me a favor. <laughs> <laughs> I, I trust you. Uh, mine is Nathan and Samuel to play in Swiss, yeah. oh, which so is, as far as so I'm concerned, dead. a dead cert. <laughs> yeah, people don't know, we, um, you've played about nine times in about nine tournaments. Yeah, <laughs> City is alone, we've played each other nine times, so it seems to happen a lot. Um, I've got a bit of a tradition here, uh, Luke and Corey Kirkham to both play in Top Cup. <laughs> uh, guaranteed 50 points. <laughs> I have... <coughs> Jason to get plus five ties. <laughs> <laughs> that is once again a safe bet. <laughs> Are you playing? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty comfortable with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm comfortable. I'll take that. All right, final one. Final one. We've got. <laughs> not, for the, uh, for, not for the masters here, but for uh, Adam in the seniors to top cut. And it's in to miss Top Cat. <laughs> Ooh. Are they both seniors? Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Yeah. Don't particularly want that one. <laughs> Just to say it out loud, but that's what chose. Okay. Are we all finished? Uh, yeah. I so. Okay. So what I will do is I'll put a summary at the end of this video. I'll do like all of the magic editing and things like that, and I'll put a summary with all of our chosen picks, as well as the the bonuses and the forfeits as well. Uh, so that leads me to say thank you very much for watching. I know this is a very specific uh, audience targeted video. I, I know that a lot of people aren't familiar with the players in the UK. Um, however, thank that you will. very much for watching <laughs> if, you, <laughs> if you have got this far. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do a follow up to this video with also a video of the punishment as well. So. <laughs> See you next time. Thanks. Thanks. See you. See you.